United Nations Population Fund's third generation to generation policy dialogue, shifting demographics and development opportunities. Because we believe that this is important. It's important that we capture the voices of the three generations of Sri Lankans. It is important that we use evidence-based data for policy making. It is opening of a window of opportunity. Our labor force is increasing and the child population is declining and also the uh, elderly people are in manageable size. Bringing in more women into the workforce, I think these attitudes play a big role in developing the country. That we need more workers who are professionals and technicians. So how adaptive we are as a system in order to identify those skills in advance and infuse those elements of knowledge in, into the tertiary education. It is highlighting the power of education and labor force participation. So a mom uh, and a single parent of two kids and I work full time. Do you agree that Sri Lankan women fulfill their reproductive rights? And then it comes back to that question of reproductive health in schools. Uh, reproductive health education in Sri Lanka is very poor, especially at uh, school level. Sri Lankan policymakers have to be, become more open because the world is globalized, information is there. UNFPA's Generation to Generation Dialogues aim to create an inclusive platform for both young and old to contribute towards maximizing the demographic dividend in Sri Lanka.